Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Try and Figure Out What Died in My Mouth Last Night. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Today I put something in my mouth. Something with a long, hard shaft. With hairs on one side of it, and a big bulbous cone on the other. Why? What were you thinking about? You're dirty. Today, we investigate oral hygiene. You're paying particular attention to gingivitis. Gingivitis? Gingivitis? Yes, gingivitis. It's that disease you get when you allow the biofilm of plaque to build up on your teeth. It's kind of like AIDS, only for your mouth. See, gingivitis is like a bunch of little tiny little single-celled organisms, and they like build little houses and tents on your teeth. And then whenever you eat anything, they grab a little bit of the sugar. A little bit of the sugar. I have a bit of sugar. I have a bit of sugar. Because, because sugar makes parties okay. And they're just having a party, man. They're just trying to, like, have fun. WTF, why are you trying to stop them? The way to get rid of them, of course, is to uh, brush your teeth. They're kind of scared of toothbrushes. As you might imagine, some of their grandparents have been taken away by toothbrushes. Grandmama! Je peux pas vous 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 See, I don't really know the language they speak, so I just make up words. Maybe they don't even speak to each other. Actually, plaque probably communicates in a series of chemical bonds with their surrounding environment. Anyway, what they end up doing is they end up eating all the sugar off your teeth. But every now and then, they'll actually scoop a little too deep and hit the enamel in your tooth. If there's a bunch of sugar everywhere all the time, they'll do that a lot. Then they'll end up creating caves where they like to even pack more sugar and hang out in that area. Those caves end up turning into giant cavernous cathedrals where they hold their religious ceremonies. During their religious ceremonies, they paint the walls black with their own shit. That's so gross, why would you, why would you do that? That's why cavities are black. <laughs> Look at that, I've never actually had a cavity. I have a feeling it has more to do with my genetic makeup than it has to do with my my dental hygiene, because sometimes I forget to floss. You don't floss at all? Dude. A wise comic once said, to quit smoking is as difficult as it is to f start flossing. I recommend we all start flossing today, so that in 300 years, when the anthropologists find our broken skulls, we'll have big shiny teeth and a smile that says, damn, that guy must have flossed. Final summation, brush your teeth and floss. That's actually not too bad advice. I'm actually feeling pretty good about myself. Way to go. Way to go, Danny. I'll see you tasty little turquoise tarantulas tomorrow with a big wet one. Ah, oh, shit. Drippy drip. If you brush your teeth with dog shit, it'll smell like roses or dog shit. Oh my gosh, who was that? What did he say? I bet it was important. 